Conspiracy theories about election rigging obviously fueled the insurrectionist mob at the Capitol yesterday, and now elected Republicans are spinning up new conspiracy theories to blame that attack on Antifa. Colorado State Representative Mark Baisley of Douglas County is among those pointing at Antifa without evidence. Baisley is the state rep who also claimed without evidence that Colorado was faking COVID deaths. Representative Baisley's latest conspiracy theory that Antifa was behind this Capitol takeover. That theory is kind of complicated by all of the Trump supporters, including Coloradans, who were there boasting about what was happening. Self-described tech CEO Chad Burmeister from Littleton posted this photo yesterday, bragging, first guy to storm the Capitol today. This morning, he changed the caption to read, peaceful march to the Capitol. When I asked him about it, he told me he didn't enter the Capitol, and then he said I wasn't allowed to show you this photo. Burmeister traveled from Colorado to Washington expecting trouble. He'd written, things could get ugly this week, and quote, we will vote with our voices and ultimately guns. His Facebook page is full of QAnon conspiracy theories about the storm. That's the moment QAnon believers think that President Trump is going to round up and execute his opponents. And Burmeister posted imagery from the anti-government militia, the Three Percenters. Burmeister writing, rebellion is brewing. Today, he told me he was flying back home to Colorado. And it appears he's landed because a short time ago, Burmeister emailed me to say once again that he doesn't believe that he broke any laws while in Washington.